this young woman had come to my office a number of times. I had her in class, but this particular day, uh, she was very devout, committed, very modern, postmodern, young, uh, enlightened Catholic woman, uh, deeply committed to her Catholic Christian identity and indeed preparing for a vocation in, pa in ecclesial ministry. And in this, this particular day, she happened to mention that both her older sister and her slightly younger sister uh, were also involved in re religious education, pastoral ministry, and working for the church, etc. And I said, all three of you end up in kind of what we used to call religious vocations. And she said, yeah, I suppose we did. And I said, now your parents must have done a heck of a job in, in, in sowing the seeds of faith in all three of you. I mean, I could imagine one or two, but three out of three, this is, this is batting very, very high. And she said, well, yeah, my mom did a great job. My mom was a woman of deep faith. And I said, how did she do it? And she said, well, she took us to CCD, and we were involved in youth ministry in the parish. And I said, yeah, but, but what sowed the original seed of faith? And then it, she thought for a while, and she said, I think I know. And she told me this story. She said, my mom was a single parent, divorced when we were eight, six, and, and, uh, and five, uh, worked hard every day to support her family, uh, would come home tired, get the dinner, help us with homework, uh, get us to bed. But she said every night before she put us to bed, she said she'd take each one of us in her arms, she'd look us in the eye, and she'd say, whatever the child's name, God loves you, I love you, and Jesus is your best friend. And she said, she'd give us a hug, and we go to bed. I love you, God loves you, and Jesus is your best friend. And she said, I think that's probably what did it. 